Tool belts! Do you really need one? Why you do, why you don't? If you don't, if you do, it's all coming right up. So here it goes, tool belts, you need one. Thanks everybody, later. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's the deal, I get the question all the time from, from new hires and apprentices, ask me, do I, you know, what's required? We've done it in multiple videos, a list of the required tools for an apprentice. You could go check out the video here. If you wanted, you could also go check out a live stream video where the very cool gang directs us in assembling the essential toolkit for an apprentice. That one's gonna be over here as well. Go check them out. But why is it that I run across tradespeople, they hit the job site and I see them operating without a tool belt. I say to myself, and I say to them, why aren't you wearing a tool belt? Ah, it slows me down. That's why it slows me down. It's big and it's heavy, it slows me down. Now, there, there is one argument for not wearing a tool belt. And that is, if you're a cabinet installer or a fixture installer, if you're not mindful of, of your surroundings, your space, you could inadvertently brush up against a cabinet. You could, if you're climbing up on something, chip a countertop. So, in that instance, you, you, you might want to lessen the load and take out the items that you won't necessarily need. Okay, but keep your bare essentials in your tool pouch, in your tool belt. This way, you minimize the risks of damaging cabinetry. So, do I think that you shouldn't wear a tool belt in that instance? Not necessarily. I think you should minimize what you're putting in your tool belt. Now, to answer the, it slows me down. And, and I've met many talented tradesperson that they don't like wearing tool belts. They're very talented, but after some convincing, convincing, I get them to wear the tool belt, tell them they have to wear it. They find that they're much faster and effective on the job. They get their job done quicker and more efficiently. And why is that? Because over time, I've watched tradespeople over time, when they don't use a tool belt, they put their hammer here, they climb the ladder, then they're up in the ceiling. They put their screwdriver in the ceiling, okay? Then they, oh, I need my hammer up here. They climb down the ladder, get the hammer. Then they finish what they're doing in the ceiling, come back down. They check their pockets. Oh no, where's my screwdriver? Then they have to search around the job site. Where did I put it last in the frenzy of getting done? They're misplacing their tools. If you're wearing a tool belt, you have a central location where everything goes back to. Does it weigh a couple pounds? Sure it does. But quite frankly, I gotta tell you, after you wear it for a while, number one, it's unbelievably handy and getting everything you could possibly need at any time, it's centrally located around your waist. It's there, number one. Number two, after you wear it for a little while, the weight disappears. It really, it's around your waist. You almost, it disappears. The weight, the extra weight of it, you become used to it. And then all you have is the benefit of having your tools centrally located, okay? So apprentices, Listen to me now and hear me later. If you want to be more effective, you want to get done your job quicker, you want to get what you're doing done quicker so that you can go and position yourself next to the mechanics on the job, okay? You finish your, as an apprentice, you finish your job faster. You then have time to go over to the tradespeople and stand there and offer your help so you can absorb how they do their job, so that one day you can do their job. Now, for all you apprentices out there, you wanna buy a good quality tool belt, something that's gonna last. But here's the question. Do you need something like this from Atlas 46? I mean, this is a beautifully constructed, durable tool belt. 
It's modular. You can build this tool belt to suit your fit out, how you like to situate your, your tool belt system so you have everything at arm's reach. My question to you is, do you think you need this? Do you need this? My answer is, you probably don't need this. You're probably, as an apprentice, gonna want to go with something like this nylon. I mean, this is nylon, they're just different grades of nylon. But you want to spend, in my opinion, you wanna buy good quality stuff, but you wanna make it affordable for yourself. You don't wanna put yourself in the hole spending hundreds of dollars on a tool belt system. Can it help you and make you faster and better? Possibly yes. My suggestion would be, maybe after you accomplish being in the trades as an apprentice for a while, or if you're a small business owner who's getting just getting started, started out, you score a couple of big jobs, you wanted to become more effective, or you, you wanted to reward yourself, why not? These are just tools that are going to allow you to do your job better, faster, quicker, which in turn will make you more money. Is this a necessity? I don't think that it is. But is it nice gear? Heck yeah! I mean, it's made in the USA. This is, this is quality stuff. I mean, this is good stuff. So, check them out, Atlas 46. Yo, I can put a link down below for you if you like. We'll send you on over to the guys. For all you small business owners out there and contractors, why do I think it's a necessity? for every one of your employees to have a, a, a tool belt because in the morning, your guys hit the job site, they put it on, okay? they're gonna put their tools in their belt. And quite frankly, if you have apprentice on the job, they might need some of the company's tools. They get them, they put them in their belt. At the end of the day, they take inventory, okay? And return those tools after they empty out their belt. Or, more importantly, they take their belt off, put it in the job box, on the job, or even if they took it out to their vehicle, put it in their vehicle. Okay. The next day, they come back to work, the tools that were in that belt are now back on the job. Here's what happens when you don't have people wearing a tool belt. Hey Vince, uh, a Kaipar screwdriver? Yeah, sure. Here you go, Tom. Yeah. All right. Oh, Vince yelled at me because I put the, the screwdriver down uh, because I'm not going to have it handy. So what I'm going to do is, let me, I, you know, I want to put this in my back pocket. Hey, Vince, I, I got to cut some of this drywall over here. Can I borrow a utility knife? I know what you're saying. If they're an apprentice, they should have these things. I agree. But sometimes people are using the company's tools. And how do I keep these company tools from going missing? Sometimes you can't help it. They go missing. But... With a tool belt, you kind of mitigate the problem. But, hey Vince, can I borrow a utility knife? Sure, yeah, go get, make your cuts. Okay, let me put this in here. Vince, I need a number three bit. Oh, you do, okay. Listen, take it out of my kit, in my tool bag. Okay, put it in your drive. Oh, okay, oh, I gotta switch over to number two now. Or I gotta switch over to Torx. You pull out that number, number three bit. Oh, you pop in the number two bit. Oh, where am I gonna do with this? I don't wanna leave it on the ground or anything, it'll get lost. Oh, let me put it in my pocket. This is what apprentices and tradespeople, mechanics, oh like, this is what they'll do. Then at the end of the day, you know, I'm running around trying to wrap up the job, talk to the client. All right, Vince, listen, I put my eight hours in, I'm gonna go home, I'll see you later. Now, I'm not saying they're doing this intentionally, but they get home, they drive home, and uh, you know, they're getting ready to get a shower or go to bed, and what do they do? Everybody does, right, the same thing when they're ready to get in the shower. Oh, let me empty out my pockets. Okay, oh, I got my keys here. Okay, oh, what's this? Wow, oh, that number three bit from earlier today. Oh man, I, I gotta bring this, oh, and the screwdriver, I had them in my pocket. I gotta bring these back tomorrow morning, right? I'm sure they have the greatest of intentions. 6 a.m. comes early, they're rushing around, they jump up out of bed, they throw on their clothes, right? 
I gotta, oh, I gotta drive to the job. Oh, I got my driver's license. I got my keys. All right, let me get out of here. And they rush out of the house. You know, even if they said, oh, let me grab these items. I'm gonna grab these big items, I see them. But maybe that number three bit ended up under a, you know, a pile of paper or their dirty socks or something. The next time you go to get your number three bit out of your drill bit kit, you're expecting it to be there. You might have walked in the middle of King of Prussia Mall to the furthest store from where you parked. You go to open your bag to get your number three bit because you need to adjust commercial door hinges and it's not there. Don't get stuck in the middle of King of Prussia Mall without your number three drill bit. Demand that everyone on the job has a tool belt. And if you like the idea of saving time, not losing your bits, getting your, t getting your screwdriver and your utility knife back, making sure everybody works faster because everything's at arm's reach. If you like that idea, smash the like button. Also, if you like our content, like our channel, and love our style, get subscribed. We publish how-tos, DIYs, tool wars, tool deals. We publish videos daily. Make sure you're also cracking the bell notification. Allow all notifications. Why? Because you never want to miss anything from the very cool gang, the coolest community on all of YouTube. With that, I want to say, go on out there. You don't have to have the most expensive or the bestest or the shiniest, but you should have a quality tool belt if you're going to be on the construction site. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you on the next one. And you're not mindful of, of yourself. Whoa, whoa! You're not mindful of yourself. Got it. We gotta pick that up. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.